right now out to the stadium. Meredith Morakovic standing by with the clubhouse report presented by your local Ford stores. And Meredith, with regard to the injury to Aaron Hicks, Yankees and Hicks have been in kind of a holding pattern, waiting to figure things out. Well, they have, so what are they doing? There is clarity, Bob, and it's not great. Aaron Boone announced today that Aaron Hicks will, in fact, have surgery to repair a torn tendon sheath in his left wrist. According to Boone, Hicks will fly to Arizona tomorrow. Although no surgery date has been set, it is expected that it'll happen in Arizona. Now, when I asked Aaron Boone exactly what the recovery process will be and how long it'll take Hicks to get back, he said it'll be months, plural. Then he went on to say that he didn't want to speculate as to whether or not Hicks would miss the entire season season, but there certainly is a void there in center field. With no Hicks, it'll be Brett Gardner getting the nod again tonight. He's going to see the majority of the reps there, but Aaron Boone did mention that Tyler Wade is an option if need be. Now, Esteban Florial is on the 40-man roster, but he's had just five games at AAA under his belt. The Yankees have already said they'd like him to get more seasoning in the minors, and Aaron Boone was asked how they weigh getting him more at-bats in the minors and filling a need up here at the Big League league level that's a balance you've got to strike right um you know you, you never want to bring anyone up here that you don't feel like is at least somewhat ready to you know take on that challenge especially when uh you know you're you're talking about a player with with flow's potential um you know and 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 some of the you know lost seasons he's had the last couple of years due to you know obviously covid last year and the shortened season and no minor league season to some injuries that he's dealed with dealt with that have you know cut short some of his season so it's important that he's playing but you know sometimes you have a need uh that you know that that can somewhat trump that so you know he's certainly in play and and comfortable with we're very comfortable with him as far as from a coaching staff standpoint we've been with him a lot we know him well um so, you know, we'll cross that bridge if we have to at some point. But uh, it's a balance that you have to strike, and, and those are conversations you always have. But uh, nothing is imminent there anyway. Clint Frazier, who's missed the last two games with some neck issues, came in and told Aaron Boone today that he is good to go. Now, Clint Frazier still isn't in the starting lineup. He did go through a full BP, though, and Aaron Boone said he was scheduled to see the team doctor before the game, and that would be uh, dependent on what he says, whether or not he's available off the bench. But it seemed as though Clint was moving around fine throughout the entire BP process. Also noteworthy, Zach Britton played catch today. He's expected to do the same tomorrow and then will likely throw a bullpen on Sunday. Day. If that goes well, then he'll start his rehab assignment. And John Carlos Stanton was back out on the field today doing some work. He could be ready as soon as next series. Now, speaking of members of the bullpen, I spoke to Mike Harkey earlier today, the Yankees bullpen coach, who talked a little bit about Araldis Chapman's dominance to start the season. The biggest thing for him and the biggest thing that I've seen is uh, him being able to repeat his delivery. I think these are things that when you see a guy that throws as hard as he does, they have a tendency to lose it mechanically. But uh, he's been able to keep that, uh, that consistent delivery the whole season or the short part of it we've had. And that's probably, for me, has been the biggest, biggest key to it. Now, Chad was in the Zoom room earlier today, and he said he was glad that the starters had a chance to really witness your personality up close and personal. What goes on in that bullpen? What type of personality are you showing, Hark? <laughs> well, I, I definitely keep it loose. You know, I think uh, I think that lends to, to putting a lot of pitchers at ease, especially when they're pitching in such big situations. And it helps them go out there with a calmness. And I think the last thing that I want to do is, uh, is kind of get the pitchers going to a place where, I, you know, they're out there and they're tight. And uh, they, they don't feel like they can make the best pitches that they can make. You looking forward to getting back out in the pen tonight? Oh, yeah. I got a lot of guys I got to go out there and uh, and get back on because I think they've kind of lost a little bit of their edge. So I'm going to get back out there and get them going again. And as you heard, Mike Harkey will be back out in the bullpen tonight. He had been filling in for pitching coach Matt Blake, who was on the COVID list. But good news on the COVID front, both Matt Blake and Reggie Willits are back with the team. So you'll see them on the field tonight.